The Cubs and the Brewers and Jake Arrieta's first start since his no-hitter, but Jonathan VR leads off the game with a broken bat single. He was so stunned he got a hit, he didn't quite know what to do. Later in the inning, a bases loaded one-out jam, but Arietta getting Chris Carter and Kurt Neuenheis on strikes to put out the fire. Bottom one now, Taylor Youngman in a bases loaded one-out jam. Ben Zobra sneaks that one through. A two-run single, and the Cubs strike first. They have a two-nothing lead. Now we go bottom two, leading off the frame. David Ross sends that one out of Wrigley. Solo shot to make it three-nothing Cubs. Now we go bottom three. It's a man aboard for Anthony Rizzo. Drills that one into right, and the Cubs are rolling. Gribby double, they have a 4 nothing lead. Now 5 nothing top five, and wait just a minute. Is this Jake Arietta giving up a run at Wrigley Field? Say it ain't so, but it is. That ends the scoreless inning streak in home games at 52 and two-thirds, the second longest streak in baseball history. Cubs nonetheless win at 7-2, but a tough day for Chris Bryant. He left the game in the fifth after rolling his right ankle, running the bases in the third. The Cubs continue their homestand on Friday as the Braves come to town, while the Brewers return to Milwaukee to take on the Marlins.